Hey guys, I'm Darius of DIY Power Couple, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to change out an old door sweep. In our last video, my wife showed you how to use a spin mop system, like this one right here, and some of you guys noticed our door sweep. You noticed that it was kinda of messed up. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to change one out, but before we do, let's go over some of the tools that we're gonna use. We're gonna use this U-shaped door seal, which is shaped like a U, we're gonna use this cutting board and hacksaw. We're also gonna have some cut resistant gloves and a utility knife. So just to let you know, we had a peel and stick or self adhesive door sweep, but it wouldn't stay on the door because of old paint. So we took it off and then I noticed something else on the door. There was a second door sweep underneath. I made the decision to remove it, but it just wouldn't come all the way off like I thought it would. I pulled and pulled and said, you know what, let me get into this thing. I made sure the utility knife was sharp and I got to work. I felt like I was working hard on something that should have been an easy project. Look at that. It came off, but something wasn't right about it. By this time, I was getting hot. It's just a doorstop, right? As an avid DIYer, I had to see what was going on underneath the door, so I broke out a hammer and screwdriver. I removed each of the door hinges because this was supposed to be an easy DIY for you guys. I want to see what's going on here. After I removed the door, I found out why it was so hard to remove that old door sweep. Do you know what those are? Take a good guess. Yep, those are huge metal staples. So no amount of cutting was gonna get that off. So I used my hammer and another screwdriver to pry it off. I had to use a little bit of elbow grease, but look at how big that staple is. It's huge. All of them are huge. And they're sharp too. I counted about eight of those bad boys on the table. And there used to be a show called Eight is Enough. But let me tell you, we have a surprise for you a little bit later on. I cut open the new door sweep, which seems simple enough, right? Everything started going my way. I put it on the bottom of the door, took my measurements, I even checked it twice before I took it over to get ready to cut it. So here's where I deviated from the plan. Nothing happened that was bad, it actually helped me out even more. I used this miter box and saw to help brace the door sweep while I cut it. If you remember in the beginning, I showed that we would use a hacksaw, but let me tell you, this miter box came in handy. I went back to my garage to finally install the door sweep. I pressed the door sweep firmly against the door like any DIYer would. Then I came across this, a ninth staple. I mean, how could I miss that? Did you see it early in the video? If you did, show me where it was and let me know in the comments. I was finally able to put the new door sweep on and it was pretty easy. I put the kitchen slash garage door back on its hinges. Then I tested out the door sweep and the door to let you guys know that you can DIY too. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.